Using a set before calling not empty makes no sense and here's why. A set returns true if the variable has been set before to any value other than null. Empty returns true if the value is either not set or equal to false in the loose comparison. That means an empty array, empty string, zero and null are all considered empty. By using a simple truth table we can conclude that non-empty is the same as asking if the value is set and equals true in the loose comparison. If we go back to the original if statement, we can replace non-empty by is set and then the truth comparison. We can then remove one of the is set statements and we see that we end up with the definition of not empty. I believe that it makes code very clean when one can avoid is set or empty at all. Is set is usually only required if you're working on some legacy spaghetti code with some required files at the top, where it's not clear from the file itself if a variable has been set before. However, if you use object-oriented programming and working with PSR4 namespaces imports and classes which have their own encapsulated methods, it should be always obvious if a variable has been defined before. Also, using the method empty is not good practice. The problem with empty is that it makes a loose comparison behind the scenes. For example, before PHP 8, every string would loosely equal to the number 0. Therefore, it's recommended to make strict comparisons for what you are looking for. Should that array be empty or do you check for null? It helps to have type hints for your methods so you know what you should compare to. If you check if your variable is an instance of a specific class, your IDE may be smart enough to provide autocomplete for the properties and methods of that class. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.